second cancer risk up to 40 years after treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma. Definitions. Lymphomas are cancers that start in white blood cells called lymphocytes. There are two main types of lymphoma, Hodgkin lymphoma and a Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma usually starts in blood lymphocytes. B cells make proteins called antibodies to help protect the body from germs. Combination chemotherapy and high energy radiation therapy were introduced for the treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Has been shown to increase the risk of subsequent malignant neoplasms and other late effects considerably. The lymphatic system is part of the body's immune system. The lymph nodes throughout the body are connected by a network of lymph vessels. Lymph is a fluid found within the lymphatic system that contains lymphocytes, infection fighting white blood cells. In the nodes, bacteria and other substances are filtered from lymph before fluids are returned to the bloodstream. One type of white blood cell is called a B lymphocyte or B cell. B cells are responsible for making antibodies to fight infection and remembering the dangerous antigens if they appear again. Hodgkin's disease or Hodgkin's lymphoma is a type of cancer that develops in the lymph tissue. The cancer cells in Hodgkin's disease are called Reed-Sternberg cells. It is believed that Reed-Sternberg cells are a type of cancerous B cell. As the cancerous B cells begin dividing and multiplying, they form a tumor. This type of cancer interferes with the body's ability to fight infection. Symptoms of Hodgkin's lymphoma include swollen lymph nodes, fever, night sweats, lack of energy, and unexplained weight loss. More than 75% of all newly diagnosed patients with adult Hodgkin's lymphoma can be cured with combination chemotherapy and or radiation therapy. Application in medicine. On the basis of increased knowledge of late effects, the treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma has changed with a trend toward the use of smaller radiation target volumes, lower radiation doses, and more effective, generally less toxic chemotherapy schemes. A smaller radiation fields and procarvising doses, mayor 4.2 grams slash meters square, are associated with lower breast cancer risk, while high procarvising doses are associated with increased risk of gastrointestinal cancers. Patients with newly diagnosed advanced Hodgkin's lymphoma are often treated with one of two chemotherapy regimens, ABVD or BIACOP. These regimens have been associated with similar overall survival. However, several recent studies have suggested that BIACOP might have 5 to 10 percent increased survival at five years, at a cost of substantial increase in toxicity. ABVD has few long-term toxicities, although pulmonary toxicity from the bleomycin affects about 6 percent of patients. BIACOP, on the other hand, is a more intensive regimen with long-term toxicity that affects nearly every patient, including infertility, fatigue, and future risk of cancer. The current investigators explored the potential for adapting therapy by de-escalating treatment for patients with a good outlook and intensifying it for patients at highest risk for treatment failure. They designed a randomized controlled non-inferiority trial. Patients with newly diagnosed advanced Hodgkin's lymphoma underwent a baseline PET-CT scan then two cycles of ABVD, followed by an interim PET-CT scan. Patients with negative interim scans were randomized to continue ABVD or to emit bleomycin in cycles 3 through 6. Patients with positive interim scans received BIACOP. The primary endpoint was three-year progression-free survival, with a pre-specified non-inferiority margin of 5%. After two cycles of ABVD, 937 patients, or 83.7%, had negative interim PET scans. 470 received ABVD and 465 received AVD. Three-year progression-free survival for these groups was 85.7% and 84.4%. The remaining 172 patients, or 16.3%, who had positive PET scans received BIACOP. Their three-year progression-free survival was 67.5%. 
These results did not meet the pre-specified non-inferiority margin because the upper limit of the 95% confidence interval for the difference between ABVD and AVD was 5.3%. However, the omission of bleomycin after a negative interim PET-CT scan led to reduced pulmonary toxicity without evidence of reduced efficacy. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org. Pros and cons. Given the high rates of control in Hodgkin lymphoma, many patients will live long enough to develop a secondary cancer associated with chemotherapy or radiation treatment. Over the years, the treatment paradigms have changed to minimize the risk of late toxicity, including secondary malignancy. The effects of radiation therapy and procarbizin were independent to each other, and risks were added to patients who received both. to get my seventh treatment over the hump. Feeling okay, getting ready. I just had my port blood work done. Blood work's good and had uh, my new, gonna get my new last shot tomorrow. <laughs> just gonna watch a few movies uh, for a few hours while I get my seventh treatment, so excited. Here's some of the meds I take. This is prolazone. It's a nausea medicine. This is ondiostatrone, whatever. Another nausea medicine. Everybody knows Tums. Take something called Miralax for a stool softener. I take this as a stool softener. Of course, you gotta have your Tylenol. And when things get real bad, I take hydrocodone. Drinks of choice are some Gatorade. And my good friend, ginger ale. And of course, water. March 25th and I am getting ready to go to my 10th chemo treatment so it's exciting and I was gonna take a quick video of uh, the Piedmont Hospital that I go to this is the start of Piedmont Hospital uh, right here to the right is the McDonald Surgical Center I had my port put in there um, this is the building set up for Piedmont Hospital. And we go up here and park. And this is, uh, ironically, the hospital that we're also going to be having uh, our baby in. Different building, but uh, this is the place. And we'll get a video once we're inside. Here's walking into the doctor's office. Dr. Robert Allen. And this is my cancer room that I have. And I just finished the treatments. Gave me Ativan right before the Red Devil. So I didn't throw up. It made me really tired. But I didn't throw up so far. I got one of these. Just in case, but so you there. don't barf in my car. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Love you. Go. Just been nauseous, bloated, Just sore everywhere, really slow. But ah, uh, this is my tenth one, so I'm excited. Just gotta deal with this for the weekend. Issue of blood in Ecuador. The critical stage of the disease for treatment 
In the first stage, the use of chemotherapy plus radiotherapy is the first therapeutic option. In the second, therapy which ABVD scheme is performed. And finally, the so treatment of the third stage is the unique use of chemotherapy and additional radiotherapy for consolidation of the first. The increased risk of many types of cancer seems to be associated with radiation. Radiation is given at lower doses and often only in the regions directly affected by Hodgkin's lymphoma. My name is Dr. Chris Hatton and I'm a consultant haematologist at the Oxford University Hospitals NHS Trust. My main interest is looking after patients with lymphoma. Increasingly, PET CT scan is being used to guide therapy. So patients are, will often have scans in the middle of their chemotherapy or between chemotherapy and radiotherapy to ensure there's been good, a good response. And this will allow the clinicians to alter, to change the treatment program if necessary. Either because the patient is doing very, very well, which might reduce the amount of treatment that they need, or because the patient is doing less well than expected and an escalation in the treatment is required. And for the end, but not the least, conclusion. Second cancer risk after Hodgkin lymphoma has decreased over time, which is certainly for us largely accounted for by decrease in hematologic malignancies, malignancies with treatment changes in the last decade. Thank you.